Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Loom, where we last left off. We're waiting for this sword to be ready. Specifically, we want to cast the Twisting Draft on it. Yeah, the Twisting one. It has another use. We're not going to dull the blade. We're going to twist the blade. But we have to wait for a quiet moment, because the draft won't even work while it's really loud. Just... Gotta wait for him to hold the sword up a bit. Um. We have to get him to talk again, don't we? Yeah, we do. Edgewise? Is uh, 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 uh. ready yet? Nope. His Excellency is still waiting. I know. The metal is proud, sir. It does not yield easily there we to my blow. More sweat will soften it, I trust. It will be a blade to be reckoned with. The blade of reckoning. It does have a certain apocalyptic ring to it. I trust I will not be kept waiting much longer. Good metal rewards patience, exalted one. Yep. And our client rewards quick service. Now pound! Now, the sword is out. So, we want... C. F. C. C! That sword ain't gonna be doing very much, is it? What? What evil is this? A witch's curse has twisted the final blade. Mm, not a witch. Curse, Edwise? I think not. It would take more than a mere witch's curse to ruin my plan. Uh oh. You there? Could it be that this little prank is of your doing? Uh. Yes? Uh oh. Well then. I would be honored to have you as my guest at the cathedral. This isn't good. I know some other curses that may amuse you. Oh, okay, that is an evil muck evil castle. How more evil can you get than that? I'm getting really tired of this. So am I. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bishop Mandible, this Mr. Evil. And ultimate apostle of the anti-secular conclave of clerics. Okay. I know. Am I expected to kneel? Oh. Silence, you impudent oh, I'm the generic torturer! My assistant, Cobb. Charmed, I'm sure. And you require no introduction. Your cloak and staff betray your origin. Oh, good. But I must say I'm surprised to find you here. It's been quite a long time since any weaver bothered to leave that dreary little rock you call Oh, home. really? <laughs> Loom. <laughs> so provincial. Oh, dear. I can't help but wonder what impelled you to leave You've it You've no idea, now. have you? His Excellency asked you a question. I know. I'm ignoring it. <laughs> ah, recalcitrance. I see. Shall I fetch the uh, instruments of persuasion, Master? Uh, yeah. Please forgive my assistant his eagerness. I fear Cobb is not very worldly. He does not understand the dangerous power of a weaver. There is danger. Dangerous? Your reverence. Him? Quite dangerous indeed, my dear Cobb. In fact, he could burst this flimsy iron cage open with hardly a second thought. That's impossible, most no, exalted one. I inspect the locks personally every fortnight. Observe and learn then, for even now your prisoner plans his escape. Hint, hint, you need to open the cage door. This isn't going to work the way I want it to, though. You see, Cobb? An elusive breed, these weavers. However. Fortunately, however, they're quite helpless without their... Weaving sticks. Uh -oh. That distaff will never work for you. Oh no, my young friend, you're quite wrong about that. Uh -oh. Come, let me show you why. 
Oh, goody. Consider the common graveyard. Okay. There, the boundary between the living and the dead is... In this is pink. getting worse, isn't Every it? Every graveyard's like that, so... Now, imagine what might happen if this delicate boundary <sighs> were to be somehow breached. Oh, no. Torn open, so to oh, speak. Oh, dear. It's not that simple. You can't just rip the pattern apart like an old rag. But it is that simple, my boy, and I can. Oh, dear. I have only to lift this rod, and the legions of the dead will stream forth onto the plain of the living. A vast army of the dead, nourished by the shepherd's flocks, armed by the artisanship of the blacksmiths, guided by the glassmaker's spear. All under the spiritual leadership of one supreme commander. Me! You're crazy. The final hour is now at You're hand. You're crazy. The age of the clerics is upon us. Nope. I have preparations to attend to, Cobb. Don't let this boy out of your sight. He is to touch nothing. Do you understand me? <laughs> Perfectly, Your Excellence. Lord Mandible, ruler of the universe. Mm, I do like the sound of it. I'll have to change my station. Well, this isn't going to You're work, is it? You're not so dangerous now, then, are you? Yes. Yes, I really still am. Observe. I'm very dangerous. Here's Keep away from that. His eminence said not to touch anything. I'm not touching it. I wasn't going to touch it. Just looking, Cobb. That's all. Just looking, eh? Well then, perhaps we can do a bit of a trade. Oh, dear. How about I let you look in the spear? Okay. If, if, if what? what? Well, the legends say that to gaze upon an uncloaked weaver brings death. Uh oh. Naturally, we clerics aren't given to such silly superstitions. But I'm curious. Let's answer this one once and for all, uh -oh. shall we? No! Oops. May we have some quiet, please? Whoopsie daisies! I can't even begin to invoke the dead with all that screaming. Well, he can't say he wasn't warned. What is under your mask? What is under the cloak? What? What happens? Come on. There's a swan. We've seen the swan before. Well, let's go. I want to see what's happening. I see Cobb has been lax in his duty. Yep. No matter. You're just in time to witness the dawn of a new era. A bad era. You don't have the slightest idea of what you're doing. Pattern is already worn and frayed. If you rip a hole in it now, the consequences will be beyond anything you can imagine. Yep. Spare me your weaver mysticism, boy. The time has come when the dead shall no longer envy the living. This can go wrong in a thousand ways. Well, this is going to suck. You've torn the pattern completely open. And with it, the eyes of the dead. Have fun. Behold! Have fun. A very bad feeling about Yeah, this. so do I, Bobbin. Who dares disturb the peace of those who... Oh, he looks evil. I welcome and greet you, noble spirit. I am Bishop Mandible. Transultimate apostle of the anti secular conclave of Clare. I don't think he cares. And whom have I the honor of summoning? He really doesn't care. I don't think I want to be part of this conversation. Yep. No one obeyed any summoning of yours, foolish mortal. Yep. I have summoned you. I oh! Am chaos. You are evil. You have nearly opened the door, and I have passed through it. Yep. For this, you shall be rewarded. Join me now. Uh oh. As my slave. Oh, get out of there, Bobbin! Oh! I see it has been much too long. 
long since my last visit. Oh dear! Time to get it. I can't seem to hold on to this thing. No. You really can't. Well, is there anything in that that'll give me any hints? Or is it just gonna be the swan again? Oh. A chicken. Okay! Fried bird! A feather? And I bet the swan. Yep, there's the swan. Right! Um, so, horrible, horrible evil. Oh, but uh, uh, Dad, there's a dragon. Stop! Ah! Oh. Well, I kind of sucks. There's a hole here. There's a hole. Well, we can um, do something about this hole. We can spin it shut. Now, there is something we actually want to do in this place. We want to actually physically avoid all these holes in the fabric of space and time. <sighs> the cleric opened. Well, what could I say? The cleric is an idiot. Also, Bobbin's taking floating through space very well, aren't you? There is somewhere further along that I wish to visit. I think. Ah. Hello. Welcome, Bobbin. You have joined us here at last. Where am I? Good question. You are outside the pattern. Hello. The home of the dead and of those transcended. The shore of wonder? Ooh. Yes, Bobbin. The shore of wonder. And you are the first to behold it with mortal eyes. Okay. Who are you? Your journey has been long, and you must have many questions. Many? You are the swan that appeared each year on my birthday, aren't you? You saw me clearly then. I was never sure. But those visits meant so much. My only chance to watch you grow. Oh. You see, the elders forbade me to set foot on Loom Island just after you were born. I thought you came. To visit me, but I never quite believed it. Call it a mother's curiosity. Uh -oh. For indeed, Loon Child, that is who I am. My mother is a swan. Indeed. In mortal life, however, I was Lady Signa Threadbare, banished by the elders seventeen long years ago for drawing an unforeseen infant out of a loom. Ooh. How I've longed to know you, and you to know me, my son. Liar. That's just not true. My mother is buried in the weaver's graveyard. Oh dear, Hetchel. She and the elders put that stone there so you wouldn't ask too many questions. Oh. Hetchel vowed to protect you forever, Bobbin. She is my dearest friend and she loves you very much. But I fear her love has driven her to recklessness. Yep. What do you mean? Where is she? She flew off to Loom Island to confront the dead ones. The dead ones are after her? It's not Hetchel they're after, my son. They want the loom itself. Ooh. If chaos masters its secrets, the pattern will be hers to control. Oh dear. Hetchel plans to destroy the loom if chaos doesn't consume her first. No, I've got to go back there, now! You won't get far in that direction. The loom lies beyond the lake. No, you must try a more subtle strategy. Okay. Oh, what do you propose? Good question. The dead ones move between the holes your bishop friend rent in the pattern. Yep. If you weave the holes closed, it will be harder for them to follow you. Okay. So I need to rend them closed. And by the way, that's my mother. My mother is now a swan. They've all transcended. Yep. 
Makes perfect sense to me. Bobbin seems pretty accepting of this. So when we come back, folks, we'll weave holes shut and save the universe. Bet you weren't accepting that, expecting that, were you? Till then, folks. Until then, I'll catch you later. See you then.